Let's drink. Water is absolutely necessary for man's survival, and therefore large pipe systems carry it to the cities and villages all over the world. But before water arrives at any town, it has to first pass through purification plants where its purity is measured so that it won't be of harm to anyone's health. Unfortunately, in some parts of the world, control of the purity of water isn't completely effective. Let's see, buddy, what do you think? Gosh, I can see this time the water isn't very pure either. Well, I'm sorry. We'll have to keep on trying. Here's your water, Mother. If you need more, I'll get more. The water, Doctor. Hmm, let's see. Uh, just a minute. Uh... Don't believe? Uh, look, the dog noticed something strange and didn't want any. Mm, it would be better if you didn't draw any more water out of the well. I think your son got sick from drinking it. Then what will we do, Doctor? We only have the well water. It's a serious problem. Everyone needs to drink water. But the well water will make the whole village sick. It would start an epidemic. Before it gets to the wells, it should pass through a water purification plant. That's where you should find the problem! Then let's go see what's happening right away. This situation could be very serious indeed. All right, let's go! I'm afraid something's wrong. It seems the water is cleaner than normal. Hmm. Morning. <gasps> you scared me. Sorry. Uh, we want to talk to whoever's in charge of the purification plant. I'm responsible for the whole system. What do you need? The village is under threat of an epidemic because of the water. Something's not right. That scares me. It's not normal that the water's so clean. But I haven't found out what yet. The water seems free of impurities. We've barely treated it. And that's really strange. If you want, I'll help you find the problem. I sure would appreciate some help. This is starting to be serious. Then come with us. Get on and we'll take you. We can look over everything more quickly. Thanks, my steamy friend. I see you're a water drop just like me. That's true. I'm Raindrop, ready at your service. And you must not be from around here. Don't see much ice in these parts. I froze up looking at your beautiful green eyes. Oh, well, thanks. You're very charming. Oh, mm, I, well, well. Did you hear that? She said I'm charming. <laughs> charming. OK, OK. I think we should get to learning about the system right away. Sure, of course. First, we'll go to the water reception tank. It's just this way. We will arrive shortly. Oh, I love to fly. <laughs> we won't fall. You're going very fast. You'll get used to it in just a minute. Nimbus likes to fly fast, but he's very safe. Certainly. My name is Saharazad. What a beautiful name. 
Like from a thousand and one nights. What's your name? My... My name is... Uh, Fro... Fro, Fro His name Fro is Frosty, and it seems that the epidemic has already affected him. <laughs> Poor thing. I hope he gets over it soon. Yeah, me too. Truly. Scheherazade, are we going over there? Yes, to that first tank. Lower me carefully. Now don't you worry, you're not heavy to us. Let all the bacteria you meet know. Get all of them in that you can. Yeah, okay. I know what I have to do. Hey, bacteria. Don't go in that tube. It's very dangerous that way. Come over to this crack. You sure we should go there? Of course. Over here is where you can save yourselves. I don't know why we should trust a drop of alcohol. Do what you want, but I'm telling you this out of sheer goodwill. Just come over to this crack. Okay, okay, stop repeating yourself. Let's see, girls. What are we doing? <laughs> All right, we'll do what you say, but if you trick us, you'll have to answer to us. Let's go, girls. You won't regret it. This is the right way. Let's go. Pull me up! I'm happy. I managed to save three bacteria. I was hoping to get out in some fresh air. I think this alcohol drop has cheated us. We shouldn't have trusted him. If I see him again, I'm gonna bite him hard. Come over here. Where are you taking us? If you trick us, we'll boil you up. I only want to introduce you to someone. Is this for real? <laughs> this guy thinks he's some really important dude. Important to you, of course. You're getting out of here. Life depends on me. The water from the reservoir flows into this tank, and you can tell if it's drinkable or not by the fish. Then we need to look at the fish. Maybe they know what happened. Just a second, and I'll take care of the transportation. Transportation? Where are we going? Let's go. Get in. We're going under. But... Jump, Zaharazad. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> going down. I've never been down to the bottom of the tank. It's stunning. You are what's stunning. Really, really stunning. Don't pay attention to him. You can see he's pretty weird. He doesn't bother me. I think he's very oh. nice. Did you hear? Oh, I'm nice. Very nice. Oh. Oh. There's been a sighting. One single fish, six degrees north. Begin approach. Good lord! What else are you going to get silly about? Submarine City! <laughs> Close in on the fish without scaring him. Maybe he can tell us something. Hey there, scaly friend. Wow. Could you tell us if you've noticed something strange about the water lately? Strange, you'll say? The strangest thing I've ever seen is you. My goodness! A steam submarine! Is this water drinkable? Of course, if it weren't drinkable, we wouldn't be talking right now. He means he'd be dead. Yeah, I get it. So then the basis of the problem we're trying to solve isn't in this pool. No, here everything's working as it should. I suppose you all aren't bringing any contamination around with you. No, no! no. We're, all we're only, only water. water! Stupendous! I'm going to reassure the other fish. It doesn't particularly please us to see foreign objects in the water. Let's go, Nimbus. The problem must be on the other side. Preparing for resurfacing. We're heading to the surface. Could you tell us what sort of danger we're in? Who or what is threatening us? We want to know now! You're not scared you'll be disinfected? Disinfect us? Oh, how horrifying! Please, not that! Not that! No! Well, this is what would have happened to you if you'd continued through the pipes of this purification plan. We want to get to the village's wells. And this is the best way there. Then keep on going. 
Go on in those chlorine guards. We'll make you drink bleach stuff until you dissolve. <laughs> bleach? That stuff would kill us! Please tell us what we can do. This is how I like to see you, hanging on my every word. <laughs> I can give you some disguises so that the chlorine guards will think you're fresh water and let you pass without problems. Sounds like a good idea. But will it work? It has already worked. Other bacteria got by the chlorine guards before you came along. The chlorine guards are a little dumb, and with these disguises, they'll think you're normal drops. And they'll let you by without any problems. I told you he could save you. That's right. We've been lucky to have met him. So it seems. But I don't like the way that guy looks. Of course. In exchange, I'd like you to do me a little favor. I knew this guy wouldn't do anything without strings attached. Let him talk. What do you want in exchange? Once you get to the wells of the village, I want you to get everybody sick. I want you to get the epidemic raging so strong, no one will be able to stop it. Yeah! You didn't have to ask us to do that. That was already our intention. The mission is to contaminate. <laughs> Stupendous! And you would understand each other marvelously. You asked me to help you save them, but you didn't tell me it was so that they could get the whole town sick. Thanks for everything, you gullible drop. Don't get in our way. Come on, guys, let's keep on. Let's not waste time. I want to poison all the wells I can. Gerardo, Jeremy, give these bacteria their disguises. <laughs> That's it. It's working. <laughs> Why isn't there any water in this tank? The water from the pool, where we were just before, comes into this tank, but we can't see it because it passes through this bed of coarse sand. Many of the impurities in water get filtered out and stay behind between the grains of sand. Sand is an excellent filter, and when it gets very dirty, we just change it with more clean sand. Then where does the water go? It passes through other tanks of sand each finer than the other, until it arrives at the chlorine pool. Chlorine should get rid of any bacterium that contaminate the water. That's its job. And it's very strange that it should let anything by. Maybe we should go over there. I've got a hunch that we'll find the problem in the chlorine pool. These disguises are pathetic. I don't think that we'll fool the chlorine guards. There's only one way to know for sure. Let's get in the water and go to the chlorine pool. Well, let's get to it then. These rows make me feel ridiculous. Let's go! No one's in our way right now. But there's a lot of bleach in here, and it's burning my eyes. We'd better hurry and get out of here. It's been days since we've seen a single bacteria. The war is getting here very purified thanks to those tanks of sand. Hmm, I don't know. There's someone in the pool. Who are they? The chlorine guards. I'm happy to see you, Clorox. I see you've come with good company. These friends brought news from the village. It seems the water has gotten the people sick. Have you noticed anything abnormal here? Nothing, only that the water comes here already very clean, without bacterium. I'm going to let the current carry me a bit. Maybe I'll find a drop that could tell us what's going on. You! Hey, friends, fellow drops, wait. <laughs> fellow drops, as if we're... Shut up, we are drops, get it? You're not drops? Of course we are, we're drops like you. We're going to fill the village, just like everyone else, to fill up wells and fountains. You should go back through the purifier. Your eyes are all red. That's because there's too much chlorine in the water. It's not right that they irritate our eyes like this. Drops with capes and hoods? Is this a trend I haven't caught on to? Did you find something abnormal? A few things, I think. Some drops in hooded robes. That's very strange. And what's more, their eyes were very irritated. Chlorine really irritates the bacterium. When we find them, we submerge them in bleach until they melt away. Do you think they could be bacterium in disguise? I'm afraid so. 
and a plan this evil could only be thought up by... That no-good flu! I'm sure he's behind all this! This plan is absolutely marvelous! Those stupid bleach drops don't even notice the disguises and are letting the bacterium ride by! Yeah, but Dopey's mad and he stood us up. He made the disguises and now there aren't many left! Then we need to make them ourselves! The plan must go on! We should contaminate the water in all the wells and then the epidemic will be unstoppable! The people will get sick and some of them will even die! <laughs> <laughs> we germs will rule over a world full of rot! <laughs> to do that, we have to bring in a lot more bacteria! Dopey took care of that too! <laughs> well then, now we'll have to do it ourselves! This time, now the victory is close at hand, I don't want to ruin it all with your laziness. So move on and get me more bacteria. We need to keep the bleach from recognizing and eliminating them. You gotta make sure they don't slip in the pool without disguises. It's only with them on that they'd get by unnoticed. We'll sit in the entrance <laughs> pipe and tell them. And later we'll give them disguises that we have in the corridor. <laughs> Seeing them in those snow-white hooded robes, everyone's gonna think they're completely pure drops of water! <laughs> and now, get to work! After the hard work, you'll get your reward! <laughs> How weird! I smell something clean! Mm. I was just being obsessive about seeing everything covered in dirt! <laughs> Let's go, Nimbus. We have some work to do, too. Even if the disguises are good, we'll be able to see these blue marks. <laughs> Even beneath the water, we'll see them easily. How does it look to you? Will it work? Only if they don't see the marks when they put on their clothes. We'll leave the disguises hanging the other way, so maybe they won't see them. We'll have to leave it up to lock. Let's get out of here before Flu comes back. Yeah. We've got to tell Clorox and Saharazad. What did you find out? Just like we said, it's one of Flu's dirty deeds. But I think we can take care of it. What should we do? Form two groups. One should keep tight watch over the chlorine pool. Shortly, there'll be some surprises. And the other group can come with us to get a hold of Flu. <laughs> I'm sure he won't like this at all. Seeing a team of bleach drops ready to disinfect him. And what can I do? We could go for a walk together, watching over the system. As you wish. If you think it's important... Don't be a slacker, Frosty. She can take care of that by herself. What you should do is come with us to confront Flu. Fine, party poopers. Obviously, you can't do anything without me. Sure. I'm sure when the bacterium show up, you'll be able to capture them all by your little self. Goodness, bacterium in the water? That's the problem. But it's been days that we haven't seen a single one. Flu is passing them under your noses in disguises. So that's why the water seems so clean to us. Those crooks! We've let them trick us! Don't you worry. This won't happen again, will it, Raindrop? I don't think so. I have faith that our plan will work. Good God, you weigh much more than Dopey. Hmm. Stop talking and pull me up, will you? I've just convinced two other bacterium. Only two? Flu's not gonna be very happy. You sure this ain't some kind of trap? Of course not. If you disguise yourselves, the bleach drops won't recognize you. I've got venom in my teeth. If you trick us, I'll bite you. Me too! We only, only want to help you. The disguises will help you. The disguises should already be here. Less talk, more action. I hope these are your sizes. If not, we can hem them up. <laughs> they look fine. <laughs> Plus, I love designer clothes. Although, I don't know this Blue Cross label. Blue Cross? Let's go. Stack in the water. Wait, those disguises aren't supposed... What about these disguises? They're ours now. Come on, let's get out of here. You're cuter with your trap shut. See you later, dorks. When Flu finds out, he'll kill us. There they are. Look, you can see them because of the blue marks. They're disguised bacterium, but we can keep them from getting to the wells and doing harm. First group, after them. 
And now, if you could come with us, we're gonna give Flu a little shot. With pleasure. Second group, attention. Let's go, Frosty. It's time. Okay, okay, I'm coming. See you later. <laughs> There are some cracks in the bottom and sides of the pool. We need to get these cracks patched up. It's through them that germs like flu get in. And he's hidden the bacterium in them to trick you. Look, this crack goes to the place where the germs are hanging out. Everyone follow me. We've got cleaning to do. And they threatened us. They want to divide us. And they snatched the disguises away from us. But I didn't put paint on them. Me neither. I don't have any blue ink. I don't know how to make crosses. I've never made any in my life, much less blue ones. Silence! Silence! I don't know about any of this nonsense. What blue crosses are you talking about? Ones that were painted on the backs of the costumes. Curses! Sabotage! Heads will roll for this! Run! Somebody's trapped us completely! And where do you think you're going? Nimbus! So it's you! We found you out. Give yourself up, Flu. You don't scare me. You can only get me a little wet. <laughs> and my germs are stronger. You couldn't... Huh? Maybe we can give you something more than a scare, dear germ. Bleach! Bleach drops! Get them and disinfect them! Let's go, boys. We got a lot to clean. Run quickly! I don't know if we can catch them! They hate cleanliness! That's why they're running so fast! Don't worry. What's for sure is that they'll never mess with you guys again. And now here in the purification plant, the problem solved. But what will you do to clean the water in the wells? We can send more bleach drops through the system of canals to disinfect the bacteria there! Once the water is clean for human usage, where does it come out? These are the pipes that carry the water to the village. I've just sent a good bunch of bleach to them, and soon we'll have brought an end to this epidemic. It's all thanks to you, that you found the problem and solved it. We only did what we should have done. Pure water is a good thing for everyone. Of course, but without your help, the problem could have become very serious. Good. Now we're going to take a trip around the village. We're going to see if things are already going better. Thank you for everything, Frosty. I'm very happy to have met you. Me too. You're the drop. What drop? The nicest, sweetest drop. You're a star. Well, I think that's what I already said to you. <laughs> yes, good. Maybe. <laughs> Look at him! I think he's gotten too much sun again. Ha ha ha! It's normal that ice melts in the sun. We're gonna get you cooled off. Come on, little star. Until next time, friends. I hope that from now on everything will be fine. This experience has made us realize that we need to watch over the bacteria more carefully. Bye! Ciao! Au revoir! <laughs> You're so funny. Did you hear? She said I'm funny! Oh, I'm funny! <laughs> A pest. That's what you are. It's the sick boy's sister. She's getting water once again. Come here, Ringo. Have a little water. Mom, Mom, you can drink the water. Ringo's drinking it. Looks like we've avoided an epidemic. With the water clean again, I'm sure the boy will get better soon. I hope so. Ah, oh, I'll never forget this place! You mean you'll never forget Saharazad? What? Okay, okay. Her neither. There are countries on Earth that have little control over the purity of water, or have no access to clean water itself. Joining forces with these countries that have fewer resources, we can make clean drinking water the source of all life, a good thing worldwide. <laughs>